This is the all new Ubuntu Unity 22.10. The newest addition to the official Ubuntu flavors brings the nostalgic Unity desktop back and I'm thrilled. The stunningly gorgeous looks, simple and sleek user interface, quick and nimble performance, Ubuntu Unity has it all. Unity, which was the main desktop of Ubuntu a decade ago, was also a big reason for Ubuntu to become the most popular Linux distro. It was that good. And now, Unity is back after 6 years with an impressive makeover. Back in the day, I absolutely loved Unity desktop. It was the first desktop Linux experience that I had. And I stuck with it even long after Unity was officially discontinued. Now that it's back with a bang, let's jump right in and have a look at Ubuntu Unity. Let's have a look at the performance, the stability, usability, software choice and see if Unity is a fragment of nostalgia or packs a punch even for 2023. Starting off with the user interface, at the first look, this desktop looks just gorgeous. The elegant dash, dark ambience with this purple hue, Unity desktop environment looks like it's reborn for 2023. And the dash home here, this is the main menu of Unity desktop. It comes with this semi-transparent screen that holds all your recent apps and the files that you have worked with. You can filter between applications, files, music, videos and photos by switching the scopes at the bottom. The dash home is the central control center here and you'll be using it to quick start most of your tasks. It also has a quick index search. You can just type in here and search for your files and applications. Of course, you can go ahead and tweak what you want to see here. Unity Desktop has received a major update after 6 years and we are now at Unity version 7.6. We get a modernized Unity here with new themes. We are also introduced to a brand new dark theme which is also the default here. Makes sense since dark themes seem to be all the hype now. While it definitely makes Unity look super premium, it's not really that amazing once you start using this system. The Yaru dark theme makes applications look blended in when there are multiple apps open. While this theme works great in dark conditions, during the day and in well lit conditions, it just made my eyes hurt. Not a problem, we can change the theme to Yaru light, but now the top panel and title bars of all the apps are super white. I want a light theme with the top panel and title bars in black color, it look much more normal. But we do get the Unity Tweak tool installed out of the box and we can go ahead and use the Ambience theme which was the default 6 years ago. I agree, it makes applications look dated but it's the best pre-installed option. You can go ahead and install additional themes here. I prefer Numix GTK theme. It makes Unity desktop more appealing as well as usable. Moving on, the running applications bring up its menu in the top bar. This is the famed global menu. This saves screen real estate as well as adds a uniformity to applications. You can also press the ALT key to invoke the HUD and type commands supported by applications. Once you get a hang of using this HUD, you'll boost up your workflow. Overall, Unity is a phenomenal desktop environment. I know it has had its fair share of love as well as hate, but it provides a great computing environment. It looks stunning out of the box, has extensive customization capabilities using the tweak tool and is very fun to use and work. I for one am really happy to see Unity back. Top points. A new cohort of my Linux Mastery live coaching program is starting soon, where I'll take you right from installing a Linux distribution to an advanced Linux user. You'll start with the fundamentals of Linux and master more than 100 commands. Then we'll proceed to master shell scripting, Linux system administration, Linux networking and many more advanced topics and the whole course will be live so you'll be learning from me in real time and getting all your questions answered at the same time. Use the link in the description below and sign up for the free demo sessions. Ubuntu Unity surprised me with its performance. Unity Desktop is built using GNOME technologies and I was expecting a similar performance. But throughout my usage experience, I found it to be nimbler than the latest GNOME. App launching and switching is fluid smooth and the overall experience of using Ubuntu Unity is pretty enjoyable. Ubuntu Unity has brought in many default apps like the calculator from Mate Desktop which tend to be much much lighter than the default GNOME apps. Mate's Atrial PDF replaces GNOME's Evans. Gedit is replaced by Pluma. Eye of Mate Image Viewer replaces Eye of GNOME and GNOME System Monitor is replaced by Mate System Monitor. So when using these applications, Ubuntu Unity gets a speed boost. From a user experience point of view, Ubuntu Unity performs on levels of KD Plasma which is a very high performance deliverer in itself definitely speedier than GNOME. It's a well-optimized system that delivers a very good day-to-day -day performance. Ubuntu Unity was previously an independent project under the leadership of Rudra Saraswat, who created and leads the development of this project. With 22.10 version, this project is elevated to Ubuntu official flavor status. 
This version of Ubuntu Unity is an interim release so it will be supported till July of 2023. But you'll get an upgrade option in April when the next version comes out. Ubuntu Unity comes with a good number of pre-installed applications. A browser, an office suit, a strong set of utilities and a few games make it usable immediately after installation. The system provides a new and stable system for everybody. You know that I never recommend interim releases for critical systems like businesses and for project deployments. That condition stands here too. There is a LTS version which you can try in important systems. But for students, home users, gamers and enthusiasts, Ubuntu Unity 22.10 is just fantastic. Talking about the usability, Ubuntu Unity is fairly simple to use. The UI is self-explanatory and if you get stuck anywhere, press the Windows or the Super button and search for what you want. May it be an application, a setting or a file, you'll get it here. I won't deny that there is a very brief adjustment period here. Even people who have previously used Unity Desktop might need an hour or two to get adjusted to things but it's definitely fun. Ubuntu Unity scores high in the usability department as it gives you a simple interface and a high quality computing system. One of the greatest advantages of Ubuntu is the wide range of software availability. Both official repositories and Snap provide us easy access to thousands of applications that can extend their operating system's capabilities. Ubuntu Unity being an official flavor benefits from this. We get the Synaptic Package Manager here. It lets you search and install thousands of free applications from a single place, quickly finding what you need for your projects or everyday tasks. It's an interesting choice here. While Synaptic is the most powerful as well as the fastest graphical software manager for Ubuntu, I was kinda dazed by the absence of a modern software store like the GNOME software. I really enjoy using Synaptic. But I think most people would enjoy GNOME software here. You can go ahead and install it with this command. As far as the software choice is concerned, Ubuntu Unity has everything you could need. It gives you best-in-class software availability. Anything you want can be installed here in a quick, convenient and secure way. Gaming on Linux has evolved significantly since the last time I used Unity Desktop. Now, many game developers see Linux as a viable gaming platform and bring their games to Linux. This has resulted in a large influx of Linux games. In recent years, Steam has become a major player in bringing gaming to Linux. Steam offers an extensive library of titles that can be installed and played directly. The gaming scene on Linux changed radically with Proton. Proton is a compatibility layer developed by Valve which allows Windows games to be played on Linux. Proton is based on Wine which we already used and loved. What Proton does better is it eliminates the need of configuring and tweaking the games to run them. Steam games install and run with a single click irrespective of whether they are Linux native or not. Check ProtonDB for individual game details. Ubuntu Unity is very optimized. It brings a new kernel with the latest drivers and provides a great system for gaming. Ubuntu Unity is a community project. Its lead developer Rudra Saraswath has done phenomenal work in reviving Ubuntu Unity. He's also moving the project ahead at a steady pace. Ubuntu Unity has a growing community. For a lot of issues, questions and troubleshooting, we can use the mainline Ubuntu solutions. They'll work fine on Ubuntu Unity as well. Forums such as Ask Ubuntu and Ubuntu Forums are the go-to solution hubs for those who have questions or run into issues. And with such a large user base, solution for any issue can be found easily. The forums consist of experienced members who are happy to lend their expertise and assist with troubleshooting. Whether you are looking for quick tips or trying to solve more complicated problems, there are many people who can provide helpful solutions. So community support wise, Ubuntu Unity is already backed with a wealth of resources online. Ubuntu Unity has the same simple and straightforward installation as the mainline Ubuntu. You download the ISO file from the official Ubuntu website, link in the description below, and flash it onto a USB stick. Then you live boot into it and start the installer. The installer is pretty simple with all the options represented in a beginner friendly way. You can install Ubuntu Unity in around 20 minutes. Anyway, I'll link the step by step guide video in the description below. The drivers for Nvidia, AMD as well as Intel Integrated are pre-installed. You might want to play around with the Unity Tweak tool here to get the look that you prefer. Ubuntu Unity 22.10 does not just bring the old Unity back. It modernizes Unity Desktop. It adapts Unity to today. A modern theme, up-to-date applications, accent colors, all these things make it evident that Unity is not something that's straight out of 2016. No, the new Unity Desktop is for today and tomorrow. But personally, I did have a few grievances, mainly with the theme. I really want the Yaru theme to be fixed here. Dark top bar and title bar with light applications. Yep, that's what I want here. 
Apart from that, nostalgia was sweet. I really enjoyed using Ubuntu Unity. I'm glad that the developers went official with Kinetic Kuru, which is an interim release. This will allow them to play around and experiment with things until the next LTS release. The download link for Ubuntu Unity is given in the description below. Do check it out. If you're passionate about Linux, definitely check out my coaching program, Linux Mastery. It'll be a live coaching program where I'll be taking you right from installation to becoming an advanced Linux user. You'll be learning more than 100 commands, bash shell scripting, networking concepts, system administration, and many more advanced concepts. You'll be given server access and you'll be getting hands-on experience with everything. Sign up for the free demo sessions using the link in the description below and I'll see you on the other side. If you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Also, check out the 15 fantastic Flatpak apps that you must have installed in 2023. This is Linux Tech. See you guys in the next one.